Welcome to another video, you guys. If you are going for spring 2023, that is the January 2023 intake, you want to fly overseas in January, this is the video you should be looking at because the deadlines are coming up soon. Over here, I'm just trying to make a video and help you understand exactly how much water you are into as of now because at the same point in time when you are actually applying, right, you kind of lose track of the deadlines of the bigger universities, right? So I want to give you an average, I want to help you understand what kind of universities are basically, you know, basically giving up deadlines right now right let's say in early september or something for the most part so that you can actually go ahead and apply to these first and maybe apply to the ones with the later red deadlines later on okay so let's start the first one of course uh, northeastern university very popular university amongst indian students and uh, again you know the deadline for the spring admissions for international students is september 15th 2022 as you can see, the deadline is about a month away at the time of making this video. But at the same point in time, right, it's plenty of time to apply. So if you have not started yet, if you're worried about the tests, etc., etc., you should start applying as of now because a lot of these universities are even waving off the GRE and I've already made a video on that in detail. All right, uh, let's actually talk about the other universities. Of course, this one was Northeastern University College of Engineering. Right, and uh, let's let's talk about the other universities. Let's say over here we have Texas A&M University, and the deadline for that is September the first, first September, which basically means that the deadline is coming very very soon. It's about 15 days away only. All right. Of course, you know if you are applying for the spring term, that means that you should be picking up the pace for such universities. In that case, this is again Texas A&M University, Department of Computer Science and Engineering. Remember, not a lot of MBA programs happen in spring or start in spring as such so i'm not going to be talking a lot about those right now right and just in case you're not really certain about your chances of getting into a university you can go on to wangrad.com you can write down the university name and you can use the rate my chances tool to understand what kind of chances would you have and would you be able to actually get in or not you can also take a look at these statistics which are available for free all right let's move on to the next university over here and that is university of illinois at urbana champaign all right, um, over here, if you actually take a look at the deadlines, right, for MS and PhD students, September 1st is the deadline for admission. That means, again, you are running short on time. It's not too far away, but at the same point in time, it's far away enough for you to actually apply and finish off your application if you start today. All right, and you can send in a stellar application in the next 15 days. Trust me. All right, let's actually talk about the next one over here. This is, let me just take a look at it. This is Michigan State University, all right? And Michigan State is basically deadlining somewhere around September 15th. Again, you have about a month. So you can see for a lot of universities, you have about a month. For some universities, and I would say for the good universities essentially, you would basically be averaging somewhere around 1st September and some of the deadlines have already passed away as well. So I'm not even adding those. All right? so for some of the top 10 universities, deadlines are gone for spring, all right? So, Please understand this is the situation you're in and you have to pick up the pace let's talk about a couple more over here this is um suny buffalo i believe and the deadline for this one of course for this you can see the deadline is a little bit far away october the first all right so as you move downwards towards the rankings you'll see that the deadlines kind of start being a little bit more accommodating okay so october the first that means you have about one and a half months you cannot give up on spring in that case right you can actually go ahead and apply and you should not give up Okay, if, if you're still thinking, okay, October, I may not be able to do it. Well, take a look at this one then. This is UC Riverside, University of California, Riverside. And their deadline for international applicants is December 1st, 2022, which means that it's almost about, I would say, two, three months far away. That means you have a lot of time on your hands, even if you have to take up the tests, right? Hence, spring is not gone right now. You can still apply. And for a lot of you guys who are worried about taking the tests and doing everything in parallel, we can actually do all the process for you and you basically just take care of the tests. And even that can be waved off in some cases. If you'd be interested in something like that and working with Ivy League graduates directly on your applications, you can take a look at the YMGrad services and over here I would say the complete application help. That's the one I'd recommend. Right from the shortlisting to LORs to SOPs, resume, application portal support, scholarship support, which basically, you know, whatever you spend with us, we get you at least 10 times of that in most cases. All right, then there's, of course, profile building advice and a support rep, which helps you build up your profile and offer advice whenever you need at any stage of the process for one full year. If that's something you'd be interested in, you can take a look at that. But apart from that, this video is about deadlines. Make sure that you are applying as soon as possible if you're interested in spring, because the good universities, deadlines are moving away fast and you want to make sure that you send in applications there first 
and then focus on the ones which are a little bit safer, which have deadlines which are a little bit late. Okay, there's a lot more universities like that, and of course, all of that data is available for free on wangrad.com. Make sure that you take a look at that, and I hope that you have a great, great time applying and you have some great, great, decent results. And of course, make sure that you're following us on Instagram for a lot more deadlines just like this one. All right, we do a lot more content over there. See you in the next one. Goodbye and take care.